Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Martins and in this tutorial, we're going to start off by downloading PyCharm. PyCharm is a Python IDE. So on your web browser, type in jetbrains.com forward slash PyCharm forward slash. That will bring you to this page and then click on the download button here double click on that then click download under the community version right? because it's free once you download the executable install it in your system then create a project after you create a project then you have to create a python file so go to a project folder right click and go new Python file. Click enter. So you see that we have the file there, data type. So the first data type we're going to look at is the tuples. A tuple is a container which holds a series of comma separated values, items or elements between parentheses. And also tuples are immutable. That is, you cannot change its content once created and can hold mixed data types so let's create a tuple within parentheses we we'll enter in the values remember you can have mixed values so if you want to print out the the content of the tuple and to print out the content you just put it the value of the tuple between the print function you can run the the file from here you can see the values here print it out this tuple has a combination of strings and integers and to print out and to print out the value of tube 2 just enter the value between the function print function you can run it through there and you can see the value here so that is how to create a tuple and to create an empty tuple or to create a tuple with a single element we use the following commands to print out the empty tuple use the print function enter in the name See, an empty tuple. We can also create a tuple with a single value. And we can print out the value of the single tuple. So if we print out this value now, I run it here, say so it's 500. Elements of a tuple are indexed like other sequences. The tuple indexes start at zero. So I'll give you an example. So we create a tuple. It has a combination of strings and integers. So to access this value here which is red we have to print using the built-in print function then we enter the tuple name then we use the square bracket square bracket 
indicates that we want to access the value held in that index. The index we want to access the value is index zero. So we enter the index number, which is zero, and we then we print out the value, which is red. So that is the value of index zero. It's red. Say we want to print out green because tuples are indexed from zero. So this will be zero, one, two. So we enter in two. So it's green. So if you want to index five, six, one, the same principle. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Clear the screen. Then we click on that but the wrong button. 5, 6, 1. Tuples are immutable, which means its items, values are unchangeable after they have been created. So, Let's try to change the value of in the, any of the indexes. So we do that by using the same tuple and creating and selecting the index we want to change the value for. Say we're trying to change the value for the first index of tube one. Then we declare the the index value then we assign a new value so you can see the error message here saying tuples don't support item assignment that is because tuples are immutable and you cannot change the values or the content of a tuple after it has been created. So if we try to run this now, error. So they are immutable. So you cannot assign a new value to any of these indexes or any of these values of this tuple because tuples are immutable like other sequences like strings tuples can be sliced slicing the tuple creates a new tuple but it does not change the original tuple so let's slice this tuple tube one basically what that means is you're trying to access certain value from a specific range in the tuple and assign it to a new tuple so let's print out the first two items of tube one so it's, <clears throat> it's an example of slicing so give it a colon so we want to start from zero to one so what we would do is enter in zero and everything before two. So basically not including two. Stop before two, index two. So we enter two here. So print everything from zero as zero, one. So if we run this now, it creates a new tuple which is red and black that's the range of it also we can print out single item say we want to print out this last item here okay we can do that by using the print function the tuple name in this value and we say minus one
clear the screen and that is the, the last value so basically it's minus one it's minus two if we change that Play the screen, we get it's minus two. So if you count it from right to left, you use the negative symbol. So if you access the last digit here, it's minus one. The next one is minus two, and the other one is minus three. Also, we can use the plus and the multiplication operators in tuples so let's create two tuples in addition to this one let's create a new one so we created the third tuple that will hold the value of the two tuples Now we print out the value of tube three. Tube three now holds the value of the combination of tube one and tube two. Okay. And this is an example of how to use the multiplication operator in tuple. We use the tube one. Use the tube one that we've already created. So we just use the multiplication. Say we want to print it out two times twice that's what you do times two so we clear the screen so what happens here is it's created the the tuple twice it's a red black green 500 and it created it again because we said times two and that is how to use the addition and the multiplication operators in tuples. And that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you can get notified each time I publish a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.